Are you serious? <laughs> Hi, it's Toad, and welcome back to part five of my Bloodborne playthrough, my first ever playthrough of a Souls game. Um, so in the previous episode, I entered Old Yarnum, came across a guy with a huge machine gun, I think that's what it was, um, and came across some new beasts, new enemies, and of course was terrified. Uh, there were so many jump scares in that episode, so that was a lot of fun. But what I'm actually going to do at the start of this episode is go back to Yarnum because I think I missed some very important things. Um, a few of you in the comments let me know, so that was really helpful, thank you for that. I'm going to try my best to try and cover as much as possible and I'm going to do it, um, probably just put like a quick clip together because I'm not going to bore you with everything that I did. But the first thing that I'm going to do I think is probably upgrade my weapon. When I went into Old Yarnum, I'd only fortified my weapon once, so I feel like I could definitely have a better weapon. So I'm going to start with that, head into Yarnum. Hopefully catch all the things I missed and I'll catch you in the video. But as always, don't forget to leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. And of course, please do subscribe as well because it would mean a lot to me and helps my channel out massively. So yeah, let's go and retrieve some goodies and then head back into old Yarnum. Oh, oh, I can see something shining. How do I get to that? Oh my god, are you serious? How did I miss that the first time? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that was simple. So, that is the brooch, and uh, I'm guessing from this point I need to go to the little girl and tell her that her poor mother and father are no more. After finding the uh, the brooch, I went back to the little girl and basically told her that her mum and dad were gone. Uh, they were finito, so yeah, then she cried a bit and I felt like a terrible hunter. So I then um, had a look around the sewer area and came across an NPC who was also a hunter. Um, almost killed her because I thought it was a pigeon at first, I'm not gonna lie, but um, yeah, she gave me some good stuff. Spoke to her a few times, had a nice chat, hope I see her again. I spoke to a few more NPCs, one of them was very kind and gave me, I think, a flamethrower. So um, I couldn't use it because I didn't have um, my arcane level at the right level. <laughs> so I upgraded that um, and then I had a little fun with it, kind of experimented with it. Um, it's going to be fun because going back to old Yarnum, um, I definitely need as much fire as I can get. I'm back here after having gone through all the stuff that I missed in Yarnum. I feel like I'm prepared to go back to old Yarnum. Um, I'm also going to go back to where the guy with the machine gun or gatling gun as I think it's called was um, because apparently his items stay on top of where he was because they actually, when he fell I just couldn't get them so I'm hoping that Reloading the area means they appear, so we'll see what we got from him, and we'll go further through Old Yarnum and <laughs> go uh, slay some beasts. I'm also going in prepared, and when I say prepared, I've put all these items on my quick items. I've got my Molotov cocktail, I've got my antidotes, I've got my pungent blood cocktail, I've got my fire paper, and I've got my beast pellets, I think they're called. So essentially what I've tried to do is have so much of the things that I think beasts will not like. Also, these are all the items that I found when I was in Old Yarnum, so I think I'm gonna need them. As I've said before, I feel like you come across things for a reason, so yeah, they're, they're there. Whatever lies ahead for me in Old Yarnum, come at me because I am equipped. I hope I'm not gonna end up eating my own words, but yeah. Let's go back. Actually, before I go back, I just realized that I'm gonna use up my blood echoes. <laughs> So now we're going back to Old Yarnum. Right, so um, what I'm gonna do is whiz through this bit, um, kill the enemies until I get to something juicy. Oh, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, 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 I'm gonna lock onto it, I'm gonna lock onto it, I'm gonna lock onto it. Go, 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 go! No! Don't you go into it! Don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere! Oh, yes! So. In the previous episode, um, I kept thinking that they were like hints or something, and um, hello, hello. How do I get to that? Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, in the previous episode, I thought that they were like hints or they were guiding you towards things. Turns out that apparently they are little things that drop some useful items for you, so you have to quickly go after them. <laughs> 
also the fact that I saw it and I was like, I need to get it right now. I'm very, very happy about that. You know what's great about coming back to this area after killing that guy with the gun? The fact that I'm not being shot every five seconds. My weapon definitely feels like... Oh, thank you very much for dropping that. Yeah, my weapon definitely feels better having upgraded with it. Little dweller around the corner. Talk about making an entrance. Kind of unnecessary, isn't it? Kind of like how I get up from a nap. I'm hoping that the items uh, that the lovely dude with the gun dropped are going to be back here um, because a few people told me that when you reload the area they appear because obviously it's a lost cause if he drops off the side yes please be good if I can't have your gun powder keg hunter badge what's that please be good <laughs> badge crafted by the powder kegs the heretics of the workshop the powder kegs adoration of complex design and big booms big booms culminated in weapon designs that contrast with those traditionally of the workshop. The late powder kegs, bless their souls, had a motto, if a weapon ain't got a kick, it just ain't worth it. I guess that's cool, but not as cool as his armor. So that, you know, I kind of wanted the armor to be honest. <laughs> Woo! That is so fun. It would definitely give, um, give you some burns on your hands though. So would not recommend doing that. God, I feel so fast. I'm so sorry so many of you had to watch me painfully go down there, you shit. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. If you don't laugh, then you'll cry. Right? Am I right? Um. Right, I've had my fun with ladders, okay? I'm going to be a bit more cautious. <laughs> Let's go back to that point. Right. I'm guessing that I'm going to have to fight that thing on the wall. Um, it kind of looks like a, a werewolf with a cape. What I've also done is I've added my monocular to um, my quick items because that's also suggested that I play around with it. Um, and I'm gonna hide and have a little look before anything spots me. I'm gonna... Ew. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get us back to the point that I got to in the last episode. Um, kind of carry on from that area, see what's ahead. And also, I think I'm gonna go into the place where the werewolf jumps out at me because apparently there's some goodies in there, as some of you kindly let me know in the comments. Um... <gasps> oh, what's that? What you got? What you got? What you got? Pumpkin drop. What is it? Can I use my binocular on it? I kind of want to see what it is. Um. Wow! Wow! This is really, really giving me some extra details. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the werewolf? Is he out of his... He's waiting for me. I'm I think that's the one that jumps out, no? <laughs> cool. Alright, so... Oh yeah, he was already out. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to have a look around here. Um... Oh no. I'm really hoping there's some good stuff. Ah. Oh my god, does it end? I think I'm going to work my way to the top. But. <gasps> oh! Okay, um... 
my god, how many levels are there? Does this ever end? Is this like one of those never ending staircases? Oh, hello. Yes! Oh my goodness, I am so happy to have found that. Thank you so much to um, everyone in the comments that told me to visit this spot because it got me some fire paper. That's kind of all I wanted, to be honest. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Um, that noise is really throwing me off. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Very uncomfortable. Burn! So um, I will say that I am trying to also pay attention to my stamina as well as my health because um, I feel like I kind of focus on one or the other too much and obviously stamina is important because if I need to run the hell out somewhere I kind of need it so is this a dead end? Oh no. <laughs> I'm feeling very uncomfortable. <laughs> the tension is rising. What? I thought these things were like, they were rare. But like, I feel like because I've killed one, I'm seeing them everywhere now. Right? I don't know. I'm just gonna get myself comfy because that sound um, is very telling. <laughs> I guess it's just gonna get worse from this point, so let's go. Um, I don't know if I need to get my pistol back on though, because um, I, I've got everything in my quick items, so I uh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if I accidentally during a fight just whip out my monocular. <laughs> that would not be handy, right? Um. Uh, what is that? Right, I'm just gonna get fire straight on because obviously a lot of the enemies in old Yarnum hate fire. Oh, what is that? Come on. Did 
Did it? Did I? Is it dead? Am I? <sighs> it's dead, right? It has to be dead. Um, I'm not. I, do I have to do that again? Does it still count? <sighs> okay, it's dead because I've got my chalice still. Um, I am so honestly. I, I I'm I'm lost for words. I honestly have nothing. I don't even know. I mean, let's forget about that little um, poison after. But I mean. Let's just talk about what happened, right? Because I feel like getting an enemy first time is is something. Um, what I kind of did is I feel like, I've said this before, but I feel like the game gives you things. Everything that I found in Old Yarnum, I equipped. You know, like the fire paper, for example, 10 out of 10, love that. But also I feel like as soon as I kind of figured out that it was going after those pungent blood cocktails, it felt like I was playing fetch with a dog. <laughs> So that really, really helped. Um, I'm just so happy, honestly. I feel like, ah, oh, like it's just moments like this that make this game incredible. Like sometimes you you don't know what you don't know how you're gonna get on. You don't know how you're gonna do, um, and then something like that happens, and you just end up, I guess, just impressing yourself. So I am a hundred percent just absolutely buzzing i will say that <laughs> like I, I don't know i'm just rambling because i'm just so happy but yeah let's go further <laughs> let's go back to where that place was because i want to look around there but oh my god what what a feeling <laughs> is that dead oh what the hell I'm hiding this whole time. Okay, I've just got back to where that um, beast fight was. Oh, there's my echoes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Damn, I have a lot now. Okay. Um. Oh yes, there you go. There's a lamp. Well, um. I'm just going to have a look around this area because I didn't really get a chance to, you know, because I was too busy playing fetch with my dog. Um, but yeah, let's have a look around, see if I've missed anything. Um, maybe smack a few vases. I don't really know if that does a lot. I just, I'm quite a looter <laughs> if you haven't noticed already. So, um, oh. Antidote! Yes, please! That only means more poison enemies ahead. I'm just gonna head back. Uh, I have a lot of blood echoes, so uh, I feel like I'm bawling right now. What a ride that was! Um, blood stuff beast first go. Honestly, I feel so good right now. I've got so much money to burn. I killed a beast. My I think that has to be my third boss now um, and I just feel like I'm just ready to keep going I just feel like you know upgrading my weapon everything I've done so far I think has helped me out massively so um, yeah as always if you do have any tips anything else um, do let me know in the comments again as I always say no spoilers just you know if you think I've missed something or something important um, and also it's really helpful to know what to spend my money on um, just in terms of like where it should go because that always helps and i will catch you in the next bloodborne episode and if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to like leave me a comment and of course please do subscribe because it helps me out massively and i will be super grateful so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very soon